Hey guys, as you can see, my cow sculpture is looking a little bit headless. I cut off the head just to work on it. That's one of the benefits of having wax and working with wax. I can pretty much just take whatever parts I want out and work on them. So the way I cut off the head I heated up a knife and I just sliced it off and you guys can see that this is pretty solid so I'm kind of like removing a little bit of the wax and it's very easy to put this back on here so even at this point I can give it a different pose if I wanted more of a twist I could just kind of glue it on there. The wax holds really well. And if I just push it a little bit, it'll kind of hold. Of course, it's not very um, that well being hold, held because, you know, I need to heat it up a little bit. But it, the wax kind of acts as a, a glue, which re is really pretty fantastic. And... Yeah, I'm still working on this and I'm probably going to be like taking the the body off or like the legs and stuff like that to work on it. It makes it easier to get around. Normally in sculptures I kind of work on as the sculpture is and when it's on here. So with this it just makes it a little bit easier but I'm kind of wondering if my head is a little bit too big for this cow. So I did get a question from somebody about this you know he thinks it's a bull instead of a cow but there are very different types of cows everywhere and some of these cows do have horns so these cows here have horns so that's kind of like their their look and if you look if you look up portuguese cow for example you're gonna get a bunch of cows with very long, long horns. This one is kind of a short horned one. It's a little bit more, I guess a younger sort of cow, but it's not a dairy cow. And if you look up ox, for example, they resemble this as well. But this kind of reminds me of growing up in Portugal and having my um, grandfather with his cows and pushing things. So it's kind of a, a neat little thing. So if you guys don't know, this is wax and I'm going to be casting it. I'm going to be melting it down and trying to create some sort of metal sculpture. I've been reading more about it and I'll probably show you the process. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!